Hi, welcome to Cane Creek Cycling Components. I'm Eric Smith, the Thudbuster Product Manager here at Cane Creek. In this video series, we will show you how to properly install and set up your Thudbuster. Don't forget to visit us online at canecreek.com. Let's get started. First, we will need to take some measurements. Saddle height and fore aft. Measure from the top center of the saddle to the center of the bottom bracket and write down the number. This is your saddle height. Next, measure from the nose of the saddle to the center of the steerer tube and write down the number. This is your fore and aft. Next, remove your seat from your old seat post and the seat post from the frame and confirm your new Thudbuster diameter is the same as your old one. Use a rag to wipe any dirt or grease that is around or in the seat post. Then spread a new thin film of grease in the seat tube. Do not lubricate the seat tubes of carbon frames unless specified by the manufacturer. Insert your thud buster into the seat tube at the height you measured and clamp lightly. Now, loosen the two saddle clamp bolts, front and rear, until the threads are barely engaging the barrel nuts. Be sure a light film of grease is applied to the interface between the lower clamp and cradle where the saddle rail sits. Place one rail of the saddle in position between the upper and lower clamps. Then, rotate the saddle so the other rail slips over the far edge of the upper clamp and into position in the rail grooves of the lower clamp. Begin to tighten the front and rear clamp bolts. The saddle tilt adjustment is controlled by these two bolts. Check that the saddle tilt and fore-aft position of the saddle are correct before final tightening. Finally, adjust the saddle height to the measurement you took earlier. 